Hello friends, welcome back to our kitchen. It has been a long time since I shared a recipe and I am back. Today we are making a beautiful tofu from only two ingredients. I hope you like it. So the ingredients are we have oatmeal. These are rolled oats. I write the exact ingredients. Measurements in the description box below. Here we have chickpeas. They are raw. They have been soaked overnight. And I've washed them well and rinsed them. So one other common ingredient is water. So I have water in my blender. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pour my ingredients into the blender. So right now I'm pouring my chickpeas into the blender. Remember I said they are raw. They were soaked overnight. And I rinsed them very well. Yeah. And then next I am adding my rolled oats. Rolled oats has the tendency to absorb water. It behaves like gum. Yeah. So I've added um, covering. And I'll blend this for roughly two minutes. And this is how it came out. You want to blend it as much as possible so as to extract the milk from the two ingredients. I'm using a cheesecloth or a cheese net connected to a sieve. Uh, you can use a cheesecloth or a good kitchen cloth to sieve. You only want the milk to pass through and not the ingredients yeah so you do this you extract maximum milk from um the blending this is how it came out it is so watery and these are the residue you will want to throw this away because they are so beany they are not tasting so nice yeah now I want to put this to the fire. Um, I'll allow this to come to a boil while stirring frequently. It becomes thick so fast. So you want to continue stirring and stirring and stirring. This is after 5 minutes. So I reduce the heat and continue to stir frequently. So the bubbles are just normal. The balls, you just mash them and they will... Reduce the time. This is after 20 minutes of stirring, mashing, stirring, mashing. And this is how they're looking. So the more you stir and the more you boil it, uh, the firmer it will be in the end. So I've removed it from the fire and I've placed it in my bowl. And I will allow it to cool inside this bowl. Then later I'll put it in the refrigerator for three to four hours so mine stayed overnight into the fridge and i removed it in the morning so this is how it was looking in the morning i removed it and i allowed it to to cool because it was in the fridge i allowed it to cool it was very firm i have put it on my chopping board and I'm chopping it into sizable pieces and it is looking just like the regular tofu from the soya beans only that this is from chickpeas and oatmeal yeah so this is how it's looking very silky and soft mmm I am sure that you like it. So you can use this in salads. You can use it in as you can scramble them. Right now, I would like to bake them uh, to to get that crusty, um, crunchy texture from them. Um, I later reduced the size. You will see, uh, so that it cannot take a lot of time in the blender, in the oven. Sorry. Um, yeah. So if you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and tell me what you think. I'm putting it into the oven 
at a temperature of 205 degrees for 25 minutes. I did brush some oil. So this is how they came out. My lights went out and I opted to shallow fry them using a teaspoon, a tablespoon of oil for a few pieces that will fit in my in my pan. So they came out crunchy and they were really sweet. I shared with um my neighbors and they liked it. Um if you're an egg lover and you're looking for a replacer if you want to go vegan, this is a good option, trust me. Yeah, it is so sweet. Um, one optional ingredient that you can add while boiling is salt so that the end product can come out. Uh, remember to eat to the glory of God. Um, the Lord depends on you. Be a light wherever you are. Bye.